Now imagine 38,000 scouts in one place. That's an awful lot of funny knots being tied all of the one time. On a serious note, why has a group of young people from the Midlands ventured to Sweden for the World Scout Jamboree? Well, 14-year-old Jamie Doonan from Burr is on the phone to tell us. Morning, Jamie. Morning, how are things? Very good. So what are you up to over there? Well, pretty much it's just a lot of scouting and uh, doing a lot of activities with other countries from all over the world. What sort of activities? Um, uh, there's certain ones like Earth, which is learn about the environment, and um, that's okay. Like, And then you have Quest, which is uh, there's a, a little thing to go along with the saying that is Quest is the best. Right. And um, all the moments really do you think it is best. It's about... Um, it's all these activities you have to do. There's an obstacle course and you have to do puzzles and uh, lots of other things, so it was good fun. All right, so you kept busy. Yeah, we're kept very, very busy over here. When did you arrive? Uh, we arrived here on, what was this? I think it was Wednesday, I think. All right, so the 27th of July, I think. Actually, no, sorry, it was, uh, yeah, we arrived here on 27th, yeah. Yeah, and you're there for another couple of days yet, so you must have mingled with a good few nationalities at this stage. Yeah, yeah it was good fun. We had a uh, dinner with South Africans there the other day. With South Africans, and what sort of conversation did you have over dinner with the South Africans? Uh, just stuff in general, like um, about our, our countries and um, how different they are, and it's, it was good fun. Right, comparing notes. Yeah. And what did you make of the South Africans and their country? Do you have any hankering to go down south? Uh, no, not really, but we had good crack with them. Good. Well, is that what it's about, really? It's a chance to meet people, have a bit of fun, become more worldly. Yeah, it is. Pretty much, uh, that's what it is. It's, uh, we get to come uh, over here and meet lots of scouts from all the world and see how uh, scouting is done in other countries. Hmm. And are there different practices from countries to country? Uh, yeah, there's, uh, it depends. Like, um, like in England, they have, uh, they're totally, their system is run totally different to ours. Um, and uh, just a few other countries are just totally different to ours as well. So how many did you travel with from Burr? Uh, there's two of us from Burr all together, and there's a good few from all over the Midlands, but all together there is 800 scouts from Ireland, wow. which is one of the biggest contingents um, Ireland has sent so far. Yeah, that's, well, when you consider there's 38,000 in total, Ireland makes a, a fair representation there. There are 150 countries in total. Yeah. So a lot of different languages must be spoken. Um, yeah, pretty much, but the most basic languages spoken around here are English and French. English and French. And do you speak a little bit of Francais? No, not at all. Not even un petit peu? No. No. A bit like myself, as you could hear. Yeah. So what's going to happen then for the remaining couple of days? Um, well, yesterday we went on camping camp, which was very interesting, and it's still going on for a few of the other countries. And what it practically is, is you have a camping camp, but you go away totally different, and where we went was beside a lake. And we were put up with uh, a few other different countries. So we had England, Switzerland, uh, Bangladesh, and um, Lebanon. Hmm. And when you say you're out at a lake, is it in a remote area? Yes, yeah, pretty much. It took about two hours to get out there. Gosh. And they don't tell you where you're going either, so it's a little bit scary. Yeah, but in an exciting kind of way. It was an exciting scary, yeah. What's the landscape like in Sweden? Oh, it's lovely. It's really it's boiling out here now at the moment. It's warm. Yeah. I would have thought Sweden would be a little colder than us. It's more northerly. Yeah, it's more northerly, but um, it's boiling out here in the summer because um, they, they say heat wave over here is about 40 degrees. Wow. So. Okay, that's quite a bit warmer than it is here today. I think it's about 19 degrees, if we're lucky. Yeah. And it's quite a bit warmer where you are. Yeah, it is. Well, Jamie, enjoy the remainder of your trip. You're there until the 8th, I think, so you'll be home yep. in about a week's time, a little less well, than actually, a week's time. Actually, no, we're back on the 11th because we have this thing called Camp After Camp, so we get to see the real Sweden. So. Oh, very nice. You, you take a tour? Yeah, we take a little tour. Brilliant. And uh, just a, another quick note, if anyone wants to, if any of the parents know about uh, the scouts that are over here and um, have a child over here. Um, one of the websites is scouts.ie and uh, we update that every day. Scouts.ie? Yes, yeah, scouts. So you have photos and photos, uh, news bits, and everything else. Very good. While you're on the radio, I know you have family in Burr, so you better say a few hellos. 
How is? How, well, Mammy. <laughs> <laughs> How is? I like that. <laughs> Jamie, thank you very much for taking our call today. No problem. Thanks, indeed. That's Jamie Doonan, aged 14, from Burr, uh, but he's in Sweden at the moment. Well able to talk to, isn't he?